What hit me straight away when I started looking into the history of aerial firefighting was how quickly someone comes up with this idea of using aircraft to spot fires. There was a guy called William Cox. He worked for the U US Bureau of Forestry. And in about 1909, he saw a, a demonstration flight by the Wright brothers. This guy came up with the idea that, hey, this could be a really good platform for spotting of fires, an early warning fire spotting device. Now, even though this idea had its merits back then, you had to be either extremely brave or foolish to fly over anything but a nice smooth field within a short distance of good medical facilities. Because look, the aircraft had looked for many, many more years, they were really not up to the challenge of flying over rugged terrain. Now, the first mention of aerial patrols that were done using an aircraft that I could come across. But it was a guy called Mr. L. A. Villas. Now he was using a Curtis flying boat. He was doing, these were voluntary patrols. He was flying over Wisconsin. It was 1915 and he was doing this for the forestry department. Now he was very clever because he knew that there was lots and lots of lakes that he was flying over. So he had this vast range of emergency landing sites. 